This is a trade that's quite useful on the day of earnings for stocks that are going to have a significant change in volatility and an expected significant movement in price. The option strategy is such that it's meant to have as small a debit as possible and provide very defined risks on the upside and the downside, preferably no risk on one of those sides and a very good probability of being able to make money in the other direction. So the example I'm going to use here is Facebook. I looked at Facebook today first at the chart looking at a yearly chart with a volume profile and what struck me is that the um, the volume profile center where most of the volume has occurred for Facebook since it was introduced is right at this point here and that's twenty-eight dollars so you would expect there would be good support if there's bad earnings and the price came down to twenty-eight dollars on top of that we have two moving averages that are right here at twenty-eight dollars as well the fifty EMA and the two hundred EMA so I thought that that's plenty of support on the downside and to reinforce that there's also this trend line possibility where price could stop around thirty dollars and there may be trend line support on the upside frankly Facebook doesn't have very much experience on the upside um, very little of its transactional volume has occurred over the previous high right here at about thirty two dollars and it struggled to get over thirty two dollars so what I did is I looked at the um, risk profile and I looked at the market maker move. The markets, market makers were predicting a plus or minus three dollar move, about ten percent. So I wanted to structure a trade such that I would set it up to make profit in the direction I wanted it to go and I thought Facebook was going to go down. So I want more than three dollars protection, I want about six dollars protection. I don't think it's going to go up, so I want to make sure that if it does go up, I have a minimum loss, well-defined loss, preferably no loss at all. So the trade that I took was this. I'm going to build the trade. It's already built down here, but I'm going to build it again. So I didn't look at the February weekly because there was two days left. Um, this shows an implied volatility of 200%. Well, that's what that wasn't what it was this afternoon. Um, so I looked at the February volatility and it was in the 70% range. Of course this is after hours now and it's wacky. I went and I looked at March and March was in the 50% range. So I was pretty confident that tomorrow when it opens up after earnings that volatility would drop in the Februarys from 70 to at least 50 and that both the February and the March would probably drop to 40. So I decided that I would give myself as much time as possible and two days in the weeklies wasn't enough. So I took the Februarys. And the first thing I did is I said, I don't think the stock's going to go up. So I'm going to buy the 130 put. I'm going to sell the 29 put. That's a combined trade with a 37 cent debit. I don't want to pay 37 cents, so I'm going to go further down and I'm going to also sell the 26, and that gives me an 8 cent debit. This is all after hours, but it just happens that I did the same trade for 5 cents. Let's just look at what the profile of this trade is by unchecking the existing trades and this trade is going to cost me eight cents the actual price of Facebook right now is thirty dollars I didn't know that at the time it was trading right around here when the market closed so I said if the stock 
goes crazy, then I'm going to be in a position where I can only lose eight dollars on one contract. I did, ended up doing twenty, so the most I could lose on my five cents was a hundred dollars. If it went down, I stood to be in a profitable area all the way down to twenty-five dollars. Now since the market maker move is three dollars, it would have to exceed twenty-seven dollars, the market makers move bottom limit, it would have to go beyond twenty-seven dollars, beyond the market makers move, and I still have protection down to twenty-four. So I thought this is fantastic. Um, it's a directional play. If you're wrong, you lose a token amount of money. If you're right, you make a significant amount of money because for your eight cents, you stand to make um, $92. Um, or nine, uh, $0.92. Cents. So for a cost of eight cents, you stand to make $0.92. Cents. If you were to hold to expiration and you find yourself in this area here. Now tomorrow the volatility is going to drop tremendously and this curve which represents tomorrow the 31st is actually going to be significantly higher because of the reduced volatility. This is going to be a profitable trade even tomorrow at anything under 29.93 and the longer I hold it and Facebook stays in this area the more money I'm going to make. If it turns around and whips up it doesn't really matter. It's not a trade that can lose money. I did the same thing with Amazon the day before and I'll show you what that looked with Amazon. I took a picture of it at the time and the Amazon trade looked like this. It was a directional play. I used the monthlies. The volatility had 30 points higher than the forward month. Amazon moved up after hours, but when it opened up here at 2... where was it? It was way over here, 280. It still made $300 for me. What I did at the open is that I got rid of the short puts because they had um, pretty much run down to very little. It wasn't worth holding on to them. And I thought Amazon would feel pressure to the downside, so I kept the long puts, and I ended up closing it for $1,000 when Amazon reversed and went higher. So again, this was a trade that cost 8 or $0.09, cents, and I put on only five of them, and I made $1,000. Defined risk at the top, defined risk at the bottom. I know that it can be a substantial loser if it's going to lose well beyond the market maker move, but I was willing to take that risk. Worked for Amazon. Looks like it's going to work for Facebook tomorrow morning.